When you heard the president's speech yesterday, did it give you some kind of a relief that we are on top of this um, containment? I was really happy disease? to hear from him. Okay. I was very, very happy to hear from him. Um, it was dispelling multiple rumors. One, it shows that he actually listens to us, which is what we expect from our leaders. He also <coughs> proves, dispels the rumor of his, his health is compromised because we saw that he stood and he stood the entire time. 19 minutes. And we wanted to be sure that our, go our president was healthy and on top of what is happening. Right. And he got all the pronunciations right, so yes. we're happy about that. Yes, yes he actually gave me assurance. I watched from the beginning to the end, and I was just listening to hear the actions that he's going to be taking and to cover this, and which he listed some of the actions in fairness to him because I watched. I did not hear from the papers. He mentioned that they have recruited 100 ad hoc staff that will be working hand in hand with the NCDC that will help to, um, some of them are going to be in the call centers where you can, the emergency calls, and others are going to be tracing those patients that we are looking for who probably have the COVID-19 and all of that. And he was even appealing to governors of states to, you know, bring, yes, bring out more health professionals in this fight so that the NCDC can train them. He also talked about how he was, you know, according to him, he had a two-point agenda which he was working mm. on. The first was to protect the lives of the citizens of Nigeria, and the second one was to ensure that their livelihood and their work and businesses are protected. Many people got the fact that we now it shows that the government is doing something, mm. but there's also that part of dealing with the task at hand. Let me let me let me explain. Okay. Some people feel that. Yes, there's the COVID-19, yes, there's a lockdown, yes, there are palliatives, but there's also the issue of how many people are, they are infected? Okay, how are we ensuring that these guys are coming forward? So there, is, there wasn't a specific um, game plan of, okay, uh, no, not an appeal mm. to Nigerians that if you, if you were in that flight, please, I need you all to come forward. Mm. I need you to go to this place for testing. We need to know what your status is. Or like, like a father talking to children saying, mm. guys, I know you are, uh, you're scared, mm. you, are, you are afraid, the whole, the, everything seems like we're, 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 we're on lockdown and there's a, there's a lot going on. However, I want you to get tested so we know your status, so you don't pre spread. You know, there's that way, there's a way you communicate I, where people feel like, okay, our father, you're somebody, is, you're, you're connecting with mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. Some people say they didn't get that from his mm -mm. speech. Mm -mm. Within that space, I'll say that's not his personality. Actually, giving speeches is not his personality, but it is his responsibility. Mm -hmm. And his handlers were trying to dodge him from taking that responsibility as a leader. I'm happy that he finally decided to do what might not be comfortable for him, mm -hmm. but necessary. Yeah.